In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to fix the Java runtime environment error that you might get while trying to run Minecraft, or maybe you get this error while trying to run modded Minecraft, or while trying to open Optifine, or while trying to open a Minecraft server. I'm going to teach you how to fix this error real quick. And just before we get into the step-by-step -step guide on how to fix this error, let me tell you real quick about Apex Hosting, because if you click the first link in the description right now, you'll get 25% off your first server. And besides all the advantages that they give you right here, I run my own server with Apex Hosting, and I think something they have that is amazing is that on online console that you could access through your phone at any moment, meaning that you could control your server even if you're away from home. So if you want to make a Minecraft server, either Bedrock or Java, check that first link in the description. And now let's get started with the tutorial. Now before fixing Java or installing Java or updating Java or downgrading Java, if you have a newer version and it's not working, we need to understand that any Minecraft above 1.16.5 will require you to have the newest Java out there, which is Java 18th. And any version below Minecraft 1.16.5 will require you to have Java 8 and that is the reason you're getting an error regarding your java installation while trying to run minecraft another reason could be that you have two java instances on your computer and we're going to check that to make sure that we only have the right java instance in our computer so before we fix the issue we need to find out what's the origin of this issue go ahead and click on type here to search and type auto remove programs where we're going to check what java we are running in our computer here in search list go ahead and type java and that is going to let you know what java you have as you can see right now i have java 18th meaning that i could run any minecraft above 1.16.5 with no issues. I could run modern Minecraft, I could run a Minecraft server, but what happens if I want to run, for example, an Rcraft server? Rcraft, as you might know, is based on 1.12.2, meaning that I will need the older version of Minecraft. To fix our issue, pretty much we just need to know what version of Java we have and what version of Minecraft we're trying to run. For example, right now I have Java 18, but let's say that I want to run a Minecraft server that is based on Minecraft 1.12.2. What I will do is get rid of Java 18, as you can see, I don't have Java 18 anymore, and I will click on that link in the description that says Java 8, because that's a Java that I'm going to need, which will bring me over here. It's our written guide on how to install Java 8. Then I'll click here where it says download Java 8. That will redirect me over here and I will just download Windows offline 64 bit. Very important that no matter what Java you're installing, either Java 8 or Java 18th, you download the 64 bit version because if you download the 32 version, that is only going to allow you to give two gigabytes to Minecraft, either Minecraft or Minecraft server. You will only be allowed to give two gigabytes. So, so let's say that I want to run an older version of Minecraft and I need Java 8. I'll come over here to this website, I'll click Windows Offline 64 bit. Once you click on that link, it's going to start downloading Java 8 immediately. I mean, in my case, it's going to ask me where I want to download it because that's how I have it set up. I'll just put it there in my downloads folder. And once it finishes downloading, I'm going to drop it into the desktop. Let me name it Java 8 so you don't get confused. As you can see, now I have Java 8, right? This is the Java I'll need to install if I want to run an older version of Minecraft. If I want to run a newer version of Minecraft, however, I'll just click on that link in the description that says Java 18th, and I'll click here. It's our written guide again. Feel free to read through it. But in here, I'll just click download Java here. that will redirect me over here. I'll click on Java 8 Windows and then I'll download the x64 installer right here in the middle. Click on this blue line. It's going to prompt me where I want to download it. But for you, it's just going to start the download immediately. And then once that Java 18th downloads as well, I'm going to put it in my desktop so you guys don't get confused. I mean, by now, it's pretty straightforward. It's not really hard to understand. Any Minecraft above 1.16.5 would require you to have the newer version of Java. Any Minecraft below 1.16.5 would require you to have Java 8. And if you're wondering for Minecraft 1.16.5 exactly what version do I need, you will need Java 8 for Minecraft 1.16.5. I believe you will need Java 8. So now I have both Javas and that is pretty much the way to fix it. Let's say that I want to run an older version of Minecraft. I'll just install Java 8. It's pretty straightforward to install Java. Just double click on it and then you'll get the installation menu right here. Just click install and just let it install. For Java 18, it's pretty much the same thing. You're going to get an administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it. And then once you allow it, you're going to get the installer. Just click next on the installer and install Java. It's pretty easy. And as you can see, Java 8 has been installed, meaning that I could run any Minecraft below 1.16.5. And before we finish this tutorial, I have to let you know, let's say that you went into your Java installation and you noticed that you had Java 8, but you really need Java 18th. You got rid of your Java 8, then you install Java 18th. However, let's say that now you're trying to run a server, you're trying to install Forge or Optifine, and they're not working properly yet. That is because you need to run a jar fix. In order to run a jar fix, just click on the link in the description that says download a jar fix, which will bring you to our written guide on how to run a jar fix. But the main thing here is to click download jar fix here, which will then redirect you over here 
where we're going to look for this blue line that says jarfix.exe. We're going to click that line in there and that is going to immediately start the download. In my case, it just asks me where I want to download it. I downloaded it to my downloads, but I'm going to drop it into my desktop, as you can see right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out from the browsers and to run the jarfix after you install Java, the right version of Java that you need, you're just going to double click on it. And that is going to prompt you with the administrator sign. Once you allow it, as you can see, Java has been applied, meaning that any jar file on my computer is now updated to the Java version that I installed, which in this tutorial, we installed Java 8. But if you install Java 18, it will apply Java 18 to all your jar files. So Jarfix will help you fix your jar files. That is why it's called Jarfix, right? So let's recap what we just did on this tutorial. Pretty much I explained to you that any version below 1.16.5 of Minecraft will require Java 8 and any version above 1.16.5 will require Java 18. Some people say you could use Java 17 and I have used Java 17, but I still get errors sometimes. So I just recommend that you use Java 18 because that for sure will help you out a lot more. Anyways, I hope I was able to help you fix your Java runtime instance problem, whatever. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.